The biggest mistake that new pencil artists make has nothing to do with the sketching or the blending of the pencils, it's their drawings just lack contrast. Now before I tell you what contrast actually is, take a look at these two spheres. Which one did you actually see first? I'm hoping that all of you are going to be saying B, and the reason for this is actually relatively simple. You see, sphere A on the left here has really low contrast, whereas sphere B has high contrast. So you're probably now thinking, okay, so in order for a drawing to pop more, it needs to have high contrast. But what actually is contrast? So if you come down here, contrast is the difference in tonal value between the darkest and also the lightest areas. So coming back up to the sphere example, you can see that the darkest shadow here on sphere A just isn't that much darker than the tones near the highlights. However, coming over to B, you've got this really dark, like extremely dark area on the left hand side, and you've got this really bright highlight. And you can see that because there's so much difference in tonal value between these two extreme areas, that it just pops a lot more. And because you've got that darker area that's being pushed further back into the page and that brighter area that's being pulled forwards, the drawing just has so much more depth to it and just has so much more pop. So now we know what contrast is. We know that we need high contrast. How do we get high contrast? So in order to do this, I'd recommend getting a pack of graded pencils that go from 2H all the way up to an 8B. And to give you like a crash course on pencil grades, the bigger the number on an H pencil, the lighter it will be, and kind of the bigger the number on a B pencil, the darker it will be. And this has everything to do with the softness of the lead. So a 2H pencil will have the hardest lead, whereas an 8B pencil will have the softest lead. And what you wanna be doing with these pencils is using the six, the seven, even that 8B pencil in your shadows, just to make them really, really dark and you want to be using that H pencil and the 2H in your highlights to keep them nice and bright and even in your brightest highlights just having no graphite in there at all and you can see here coming back up to the sphere examples you've got this highlight here I have used no graphite in that extreme highlight I've then used like an H pencil just to go around it just to start to blend it into the shadows I've then used like an HB pencil and then like a 3B pencil then a 4 and then a 5 all the way up to an 8B pencil in the very extreme dark shadow there and you can just see See how that's just made it just really brought it off the page so anyway if we come down here something that new artists struggle with is they don't utilize these two extreme values what they do is they go from looking at this range here they was like their darkest shadow there will be like a 2b and their lightest area will be an h and this just really isn't kind of good enough if you really want to make your drawings pop you really need to utilize these two extremes of like the 8b and also the 2h because it's just having that contrast it's just I know I've said it a lot in this video, it just really helps make the drawing pop. So now if we move into a summary of everything that I've just talked about, so contrast is the difference in tonal value between the darkest and the lightest areas. And to make a drawing pop, we need to have high contrast. I mean, I'm really kind of emphasizing this because it is super important. And to get high contrast, you can use the six, the seven, even the 8B pencil in your shadows. And you can also use the H or even the 2H near your highlights. And this just, yeah helps to boost the contrast and to make it pop. I mean, pop, I said it again. And anyway, I, if you want to learn more kind of like drawing tips like this, I now have a free drawing community on a new platform called School, where both myself and other amazing pencil artists um, are just there. And you can post your drawings to this group and you can get tailored like support and advice for your drawings for free. And this will like really help you level up your drawing game even quicker. And yeah, I'll leave that down in the description and it is called the Drawing Guild. So with that said, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember to keep drawing and I'll see you in the next one.